हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू आवर मैथ सोनी चैनल आई एम तापस मुखर्जी जैप्टी डेवलपर फॉर द डिफरेंट प्लेसमेंट कंपिटिव एग्जामेशन फॉर द गवर्नमेंट जॉब एंड कॉर्पोरेट्स यू कैन प्रिपेयर बाय द हेल्प ऑफ डिस्ट्रिक्स फॉर द जी आर ई जी मैट कैट गेट एक्सेट्रा द मेन प्रॉब्लम टू क्रैक एनी फादर स्टडीज और कॉर्पोरेट और गवर्नमेंट you have to crack aptitude aptitude they are giving very short time and if you know how to give the answer is a very short may shortcut method then you can manage your timings the main lagging in my experience last 25 years the student cannot develop the shortcut so they cannot manage the time ultimately for the government for the corporate 80% to 90% accuracy is needed to crack your job or goal so now in my channel if you watch all the videos you can learn how to make the shortcut how to manage the timing and what are the techniques to solve the different question from the different areas today i will discuss the most important chapter chapter name is a probability probability is such type of chapter which is important for the all examinations for the placement for the corporate for the gate cat gr gmat now probability first is called general probability general probability can be divided by the four different areas number one problems of coin tossing coin second area problems on playing card third area problems on throwing dice and fourth area problems on ball now problems of coin and problems on boys and girls are same pattern now first of all if i toss one coin there are two result one is a maybe hit maybe tail so how many ways you can get the result that is called total number of outcome now i need head so head is my favorable outcome so probability for everything is equal to favorable outcome by total number of outcome <coughs> this is your fundamental theory by the help of this theory you can control all the problems let us consider two coins are tossed so Favorable outcome, I have to find out, and the total number outcome two to the power two because result is one coin to the power number of coin tossed. When three coins are tossed, two to the power three. Five coins are tossed, two to the power five. Result is one coin to the power number of coin cost tossed. Now consider, I throw only two that common two coin. Your result is either both head. Or both tail, first head, second tail, and first tail, second head. Now my question: When two coins are tossed, what is the probability both head, both tail? Probability exactly one head. Probability at least one head. At least one head. Probability at most one head, at most one head. They can ask different ways of question. Now for all cases, total number of outcome is two to the power two because two coins are tossed. Both head only one case, both head. So one by two to the power two. Both tail. These are both tail. One by two to the power two. If I say. Exactly one hit. Just observe. Exactly one hit. I can consider this part. I can consider this part. This way you can consider. Either we can write exactly one hit, one plus one, or I can write in the different way. Two to the two. Two to the two. Which thing I should not consider? Exactly one hit. I cannot consider two hit. I cannot consider two hit. So two cases I cannot consider. So two to the two minus cannot consider. Or should be considered. There are two ways. At least one head. Same rule. Two to the power two. 
at least one head. I can consider one head. I can consider two head. So which thing I cannot consider? Two tail I cannot consider. So only two to the power two minus not considered or should be considered. You can minimize your time because it's called revert problem. At least one head I can consider this. I can consider this. I can consider this. At least one head I cannot consider only two tail. This case I cannot consider. So total value minus cannot consider also be considered. At most one head. Just observe again. At most means maximum one head. I cannot consider two head. One head I can consider. I can consider no head. So I cannot consider only two head. So total value minus cannot consider one guess. So all should be considered. So when two coins are tossed, there are two result, four result, and they can ask different ways of question. Now also the first type. Now we we'll start when three coins are tossed. First of all, all are head. Case one. Case two, all are tail. First, second head, third tail. Second, third head, first tail. Third and first head, second tail. First, second tail, third head. Second, third tail, first head. And third and first tail, second head. There are eight outcome because two to the power three. The result is one coin. Total number of coin tossed. Now, first question. All head. First of all. For all cases, two to the power three, because result is one coin in two to the power three number of coin tossed. All head only one case. Case two, all head, all tail only one case, two to the power three. Either all head, so we can consider one, or all tail we can consider another one. So two by two to the power three, neither. Remember total value minus either all or neither. If I not consider this, I cannot consider these two. So total value minus dot not consider also be considered. Exactly two head. Just remember. Remember how many ways three chair can be occupied by two ladies. So first case ladies 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 or ladies ladies three cases. So now how many ways? I can select this. This I can. What is the probability? Exactly two head. So, out of three chair, how can it be occupied by two ladies? Your answer is three C two combination. Remember it. How many ways out of three chair? Two chair should be selected for the ladies. Say head or tail. Exactly two head. So three C two. Case two. At least three head. Two to the power three. At least two head. I can consider two head. I can consider three head also. So three C two. I can consider three C three. Means remember three C two means three. These, these, and this. And three three means these also. So now at least two head means two head or three head. So three C two plus three C three. At most two head, so I can consider maximum two head. So total value minus not consider three head, not consider one case, not considered. All should be considered. Remember, very very important because you can minimize our time. If I consider which at most two head means I can consider two head, I can consider one head, I can consider no head. So I cannot consider only three head. So two to the power three minus not considered all should be considered. Very very careful about the problem manually and methodically. Our next type. When four coins are tossed, they can give four coin, five coin, eight coin, no problem. Four coins are tossed. So total result. Remember two things. One coin result is two to the power number of coin tossed. This is the total number outcome. So now four coin. How many ways I can select three chair for head? So four C three combination. Four chair for head. Four C four, two chair for eight, four C two. The remember for the combination. How can I select two chair out of four? Four C two, three chair out of four, four C three, four chair out of four, four C four. Now first question. Lower portion common two to the power four. All eight only one cases. Either all eight one cases, or all till one cases by two to the power four. 
neither i cannot consider these two neither means total value minus either all or neither remember all time i cannot consider these two and balance all should be considered two by four minus one plus one now exactly three head remember how can i select three chair out of four four c three exactly three at least three two by four i can select three chair so four c three I can say four chair, four C four. At most three, maximum three. So I cannot consider two by four minus not consider four. At at most three means I cannot consider four head. So only one case I cannot consider. So very very important pattern. You have to remember it this way. You can minimize your time. Now we will discuss next pattern. This is the most popular question given by TCS. In a family, there are six child. Just remember the problem. Six child. Youngest is a girl. Youngest is a girl. So we know the youngest is a girl. We have to find out what is the probability in rest child. Rest means five. All should be girl. Two. All should be boys. Probably either all boys. <coughs> Or all girls, probably neither all boys, nor all girls. <clears throat> probably exactly four girls, at least four girls, at most four girls. Last. Exactly three boys and two girls. <clears throat> Remember, balance five, same as coin. Maybe boys, maybe girls. So total number outcome two divided by five. Common. All girls one cases. All boys one cases. Either all boys one or all girls one. Two divided by five. Neither. So two divided by five. Same same rule. Two divided by five. I cannot consider all boys and all girls. So balance should be considered. Exactly four girls. So five C four. Same rule by two divided by five. At least four girls. So five C four or five C five. Two divided by five. At most four girls. So we cannot consider five girls. At most four girls, maximum four. So two by five minus one case I cannot consider. Exactly three boys and two girls means three boys means automatically two girls. So five C three by two by five. This question given by TCS, the most popular either girls and boys or head and tail. So these are the sufficient to cover all types of problem in coin. So many many thanks. Watching this video, revise. Now subscribe our channel, Mathsonic, and push bell icon so that when notification is given, you can informed. Thank you very much.